this is Aiden's Toy Trove. Uh, I'm here today with another installment in our mail call series. This is, um, I believe, one or two traditional Brer horses. And this is, um, I, I think this was shipped parcel post because I don't see any indication of priority on it. Um, so it's okay that it looks like it's over the uh, dimensional limits allowed by priority, which is one cubic foot. So just keep that in mind. It's basically a 12 by 12 by 12 box is the priority uh, dimensions before you get hit with the balloon, right? Um, this has been filled with paper or newspaper and some magazine paper. It's um, fairly full, so um, it didn't really um, collapse and it provided enough support for the horse. So no complaints. Uh, we have in here, it looks like um, one horse and a nice uh, velvet bag. Briar used these bags um, for their connoisseur horses along with um, some other their special runs. I don't remember buying any of those so I don't think that's what's actually in these bags but we'll open them up and we'll take a look. I actually really like these bags. These are what got me started on the pony pouches for my horses that I use for my personal models. I'm kind of velvety on the outside and they are uh, white silk on the inside and then they have a drawstring. Oh, and these bags do belong to these horses. Now I remember what this is. These aren't connoisseur models, but they are just about horses special runs. This is a set, a very neat set. It is on the Lonesome Glory mold and um, it's a decorator. I'm trying to think, I think um, that might be the only decorator made in a large run to date on the Lonesome Glory mold. None, no others are popping to mind. Uh, so what we have here is, um, this is either mirror image or uh, reflector, and I can never remember which is which. Uh, so I'll have to look that up on ID or Briar. If you've never been there, it's a wonderful resource for identifying your Briar horse. And it's just IDYourBriar.com, and it's got almost all of um, the Briar horses created, except for maybe some tusk colors, and the gal does a really great job of keeping it up to date. So this guy has a really awesome um, like color shift on his blue paint. He goes anywhere from like a light blue to a dark purple, depending on the light. Really gorgeous. And he has a high gloss finish. And we'll put him aside. I'll grab the other one. I'll put him back here so we don't accidentally knock him. We wouldn't want to do that. Oh, and here is the Certificate of Authenticity, Briar Mirror Image, uh, Pinto Horse. It says, let's see, one of two designed to reflect one another, limited to a total run of 1,500 pieces each. This model is represented on the Lonesome Glory mold and was hand decorated using color changing paint. This exclusive model was produced in September 2007 and is available only to JAH subscribers. JAH um, stands for Just About Horses. It was a magazine that was published, I think, quarterly, um, and then it, it kept getting published less and less, and now it is published once a year for Collectors Club members, so only once a year. I really mi miss it. I wish Briar would bring. Bring back the magazine! I love the magazines. And I think this was a gambler's choice model. You know, you didn't have a choice of which one you received. And I'm thinking it was limited to one per person, but I could be wrong. This might have been offered as a pair. I'm just, I'm not remembering it having been offered as a pair. So if you're curious, go look it up. Let's 
this appears to be their um, original wrapping and I know that some collectors like to hold on to that so I'm trying not to tear it or um, pop the bubbles. So this is the other one. Um, you can kind of see why they're named mirror image and reflector because they're like the ex opposites of each other um, on their pinto pattern and I'll get them up next to each other so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, this horse has the same color shifting paint as the other one. It goes from like a dark purple to a light metallic blue. Really awesome. Love it. Also has a glossy finish. But we will put them side by side. Uh, so you can see that they're like mirror images of each other's patterns. I really like this pair. Um, and they seem to be very popular among collectors. So, this is mirror image and reflector and um, with their COA, which um, I believe they were only issued with one because I've never seen um, a certific certificate say uh, reflector on it. So I actually think all the certificates say mirror image. Let me just give you a look at these guys. I wish the light was better out. Um, it's kind of late here. So there's no sunlight and the, um, our kitchen light isn't doing a very good job of showing off the absolute awesomeness of this color changing paint. I wish Briar would use this paint again because I really like it. I'm not uh, a huge decorator fan, but uh, this is probably one of my favorite Briar decorators to date. This one might be my favorite just because he has more um, of the the blue paint on him opposed to the, the white Pinto pattern on the other one. So there you have the uh, Briar Just About Horses special run, uh, mirror image and reflector. And that's on the Lonesome Glory mold and was produced in 2007 and was limited to 500 pieces. Thanks for watching.